Sally Russell was born in San Francisco and raised in one of California's most magical settings, the Monterey Peninsula. Sally was born with a gift for creativity and mixing and matching elements. She is adventurous and daring, and her personality is reflected in her work. Sally is known for artistic designs that incorporate bold and colorful patterns. Her art is playful and uplifting. In the mid-1990s, Sally began experimenting with clay and ceramics. She was drawn to the irregularity of building with her hands and the ease of creating new textures. She soon developed a signature style, mixing shapes, texture, color, and patterns, which she incorporated into her popular ceramic totem poles. So what are ceramics? The word ceramics comes from the Greek word keramikos, meaning pottery. Most traditional ceramic products are made from clay, or clay mixed with other materials, and then shaped and baked in extreme heat in a kiln, oven, or even sunshine. Then they are usually painted with colorful glazes. Sally Russell incorporates colorful designs and shapes into her ceramic rings and displays them on her well-known totem poles. You might be asking, what are totem poles? Totem poles are traditionally monumental sculptures carved on poles, posts, or pillars with symbols or figures made from large trees, mostly western red cedar. They were first created by the indigenous peoples of the Pacific Northwest Coast. Totem poles are not religious objects, but they do communicate important aspects of native culture. Carvings of animals and other characters typically represent characters or events in a story. Sally Russell's colorful totem poles consist of simple designs and patterns consisting of just one or two colors on each segment. One of her collectors said that Sally's totems are pure vitality and joy. Today, your class will be making your own version of a Sally Russell totem pole. It will be displayed in an art installation at this year's Spring Open House and Art Show. So now you may be wondering, what is an art installation? Installation art is simply art that utilizes its surroundings. The art is installed or put in its surroundings or environment, allowing the space to interact with it. For example, if an artist arranges open umbrellas in a courtyard, that is an art installation. The courtyard actually becomes part of the art project. Art installations can be playful and fun, or they can make a political, social, or environmental statement, such as the installation we currently have in Ladybird Lake a dead painted tree that communicates concerns about the ongoing drought in Texas. Last year for the school art show, we filled the halls with paper cranes. This year, we will be installing our own Sally Russell style totem poles in our school garden available for everybody to see. Here are the instructions for your project. Step 1. Draw a rectangle on your scratch paper. Sketch out your pattern thinking about which colors you will use. Remember for this project you want to create a simple pattern that will use three colors or less. White is actually a color too. The pattern can be anything you can dream up, as long as it is simple. Step 2. Using your sketch as a guide, draw your pattern on your piece of PVC with a pencil. Step 3. 
Carefully add color to your piece of PVC following your pattern. When coloring with your permanent ink markers, be careful to hold your piece of PVC by the ends or an area that you have not colored. The marker will dry quickly, but it will smear if you touch it immediately. If you're going to add black to your pattern, do it after you have finished with your other colors. If your colored marker touches black marker, it will turn your bright color a muddy color. Step 4. When you are finished coloring your piece, put a small signature or your initials within your design. Step 5. When your class is finished with their allotted pieces, work as a team to build your sculpture. You may put it together however your class decides, as long as every open end is covered by a cap. Put the pieces together gently until you have agreed on how they go together. Once you are satisfied, you can push the pieces together firmly to make sure they stay together. Step 6. Your Art Appreciation Volunteer will keep your class totem pole. You will see them again in a few weeks out in the garden during the art show. Before you get started, we have a special message straight from the artist herself. Hi Rooster Springs Elementary, I'm Sally Russell. I can't tell you how honored and delighted I am to know that you're studying my work. I cannot even imagine what 38 totems are going to look like in an area. So I just, I can't wait to see the finished product. Um, please have lots of fun, be creative. Each individual totem bead is, is an important aspect of the overall piece. So um, it's the sum of the parts that make the whole. Have fun, can't wait to see the finished product. Take care. Thank you for creating your part of our Sally Russell inspired art installation. We can't wait to see your colorful totem poles out in our garden. See you at the art show, tigers!